3323. So boot you in a moment, but first the church in Exeter is on a mission to help feed everyone in need this Christmas by handing over a thousand food parcels across Devon. Rediscovered Church at Northern Hay Street started creating food parcels seven years ago, but only ever made between 50 to 300. This year, though, they say the pandemic and lower universal credit payouts has led to more demand than ever, and our reporter Lucy Bolt went to see them in action. Good. Right, we had six yes, hampers today, everyone was in. No, right. one person was out, but we had to leave it by the rabbit hatch. But, uh, <laughs> and how was the reactions, all right? Oh yeah, everybody pleased and happy and... Brilliant. Yeah, ready to go then? All ready to go for another lot. Come on, Don. Right, how many are we going to fit in the car, Don? Oh, well, as many as it take. OK, gang, we're ready to fill another car. When you think of Christmas, what springs to mind? Family, warmth, food... Music, perhaps? How about money worries, bare cupboards and no heating? It's the reality for many in our communities, something Rediscover Church in Exeter are trying to change. OK, right, got your boot open there, Don. Oh, brilliant, right, let's pack it in there. Is everyone really pleased then, Don, yeah? Yes. Jason Ham is their operations coordinator. Brilliant. For so many people, it's a really tough time of life it's a tough season you know the kids are at home from a school you know they've got all these commitments buying presents you know decorations and all this sort of thing and you know food where does that fit you know and, and we're just trying to help people over christmas to around Exeter again, drop it off. dozens of volunteers have stepped forward to help whether that's by donating items packing the parcels or delivering them to places in exeter but also newton abbott and plymouth Debbie McCorn is a volunteer. Well, we've just been to a couple of families and um, you just realise how challenging it is out there and they're just so incredibly grateful. Like, they're just overwhelmed and like each and every family we've been to today have sort of said, we just expected just a few sort of cans and things, but this is mind-blowing and they're just so grateful and they just, they've all said what a huge difference it's going to make to their Christmas. Let's get some more. So we're in the packing station area for yeah. all of the Christmas hampers. Talk us through what is in the hampers and how you're all organising this. Yeah, so we've got a lot of food here in this room. So we've got a, a, called a packing list. Yeah. So in this packing list, we've got some bread, which has kindly been donated to us. We've got a pasta, we've got beans, we've got carrots, tomatoes, because, you know, we need some healthy food for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> but of course, we need treats. So we've got mince pies, we've got chocolates. Um, and everyone, I mean, let's face it, we all need stuffing at yeah. Christmas. So oh, look, stuffing. sage and onion stuffing. Only Lovely. the best, yeah. only the best. But also, you know, we've got like things like um, deodorants, we've got shower gels. Even today, I've had 30 more requests for hampers, which really shows there's a massive need out there. So we are, we just keep on packing. The team are doing amazingly. We all had a very good sleep last night and we're <laughs> going to have a good sleep tonight. So we just keep on going and uh, pack these hampers and deliver them. So that's what the team have been doing this morning. And even though the church has upped the number of parcels they're giving out, there are fears that it's not enough. Reuben Smith works here. When we were reaching out and speaking to different people, offering out the hampers, we're getting more people requesting more hampers. And it just really shows that we thought a thousand would slightly touch the need, but that doesn't even really scrape it. There's so many people across Devon and beyond uh, that are needing these things this year. And it's not just a Christmas time problem, but actually there's a lot more going on under the surface and throughout the year as well. And put them on top of you. Yeah, put on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you reckon two more? Well, after listening to Lucy's report, if you want to get involved and help with the efforts, you can contact the Rediscovered Church through their website or social media pages. Just before the news at eight, Simon Francis appeared on the show.